You go to the refrigerator and there it is, that delicious guacamole from a day or so ago. Your mouth waters. You love guacamole. I love guacamole. But then you open it and it looks like this. Yuck. Into the garbage it goes. All six bucks worth of it. Cha-ching! But wait, does this ugly guac need to be tossed? Just because it looks bad? Hey, I know people that eat raw oysters and they look like snot. So why does guac turn brown? And does brown guac need to be tossed? I decided this was worth investigating, so you don't have to. All fruit, including avocados, go through a ripening process. This process happens due to a plant hormone called ethylene, a gas produced under the skin of the fruit. This gas triggers the enzymes that causes the ripening of the fruit. Damage to a fruit can activate ethylene production. So picking a fruit or bruising a fruit causes the ripening process to proceed. You may be wondering why I'm talking about fruit. Aren't we talking about avocados? Well, avocados are a fruit in the botanical sense. They are considered a fruit because they have a fleshy pulp and a seed. In botany, it is the seed-bearing structure of a flowering plant that is formed from the ovary after flowering. This would include tomatoes, pumpkins, and pomegranates. However, in culinary terms, a fruit is sweet or sour produce, such as apples, oranges, lemons, and peaches. But let's get back to our brown guacamole. When you cut into an avocado, there is a substance called odiphenol that when exposed to air along with an enzyme called PPO, which stands for polyphenol oxidase, causes the avocados, and thus the guacamole, to turn brown. This browning is common in all plants, but is faster with avocados. If you cut an apple in half, thus exposing it to the air, you'll notice the same thing. In the presence of oxygen from the air, oxidation occurs with help from PPO and the diphenols are converted to quinones. The quinones are the reason the brown pigment occurs. The flesh of an avocado oxidizes pretty quickly. So, to conclude this, you need the ethylene plant hormone, activating the enzymes in the presence of oxygen, to make your guacamole this disgusting. So, can you eat this yucky brown guacamole? Why, yes you can, as long as there's no mold on it and it's been refrigerated. According to Food Network's nutritionist, Dana White, who, by the way, has a lot of letters next to her name, the time limit is three days. After all, if all those people can eat those snotty raw oysters, I guess I can eat my brown guacamole.